In this video, I'm going to create a number guessing game in C. So the way the game is going to work is we're going to randomly generate a number between 1 and 100, and then we'll ask the user to guess the number. If they guess higher than the number, we'll tell them to guess lower. If they guess lower than the number, we'll tell them to guess higher. And we'll, we'll repeatedly let them guess. We'll let them guess again and again until they get the number. So the first thing we're going to do is generate the random number. So we're going to include a couple libraries to help with that. We're going to include stdlib.h because it includes the random number generation facilities. We're also going to include time.h as well. And the first thing we're going to do is what's called seeding the random number generator. So we're going to call srand with time and null. So time null is going to give us the current time. And then we're going to feed that to this srand function as an argument. And that's going to do what's called seeding the random number generator. It's going to make our numbers a lot more random than they would be otherwise. There's still going to be pseudo random numbers, but this will actually make the random number generation more random. If we don't do this, we'll actually get the same random numbers each time we run the program. So the next thing we'll do is generate the number. So we'll say here int number is equal to, and the rand function here is going to produce a random integer between zero and some very high number. And we just want a range of numbers between one and a hundred. So the way we're going to get that range is we're going to take this number between zero and some very high number, and we're going to do modulus 100. So modulus, the way this operator works is you take some number, we do a divide with 100, but this operator here actually returns the remainder of the division. And some number that's potentially a very large integer, modulus 100, the remainder is going to be between 0 and 99 because of the way division works. So we'll take that number between 0 and 99, and we'll add 1 to it. And together, this will give us a number between 1 and 100. So then we're going to ask the user to enter a guess. So we'll say here, do while... And we'll do a do while loop here, and we're going to have some guess variable. So I'll say int guess is equal to zero, and then we'll ask the user to enter a guess. So we'll say here, printf, enter a guess. And we'll take the guess that they give us, and we'll store it into the guess variable. So we'll say scanf, percent %d, and we'll say here, and guess. And that'll store the user's guess that they give us here into the guess variable there. Then we'll check the guess to see if it's accurate or if the guess needs to be higher or lower. So if the guess is equal to the number, we can say printf, you got it, and the game is over. Else if the guess is less than the number, we're gonna to wanna to tell them to guess higher. So we'll say printf, guess higher else the guess must be greater than the number and we'll tell them to guess lower. So else we'll say printf guess lower. And we're going to do this so long as the guess doesn't equal the number. So, so long as they haven't guessed correctly, we're going to keep asking them to keep guessing. All right, so let's run this and give it a test. So I'm going to compile and run it here. And then it says here, enter a guess. So I'll enter a guess of, let's say, 5. It says, guess higher. Okay, we'll say 50. Guess higher. We'll try 80. Guess lower. We'll try maybe 65. Guess lower. We'll try 60. Guess higher. 63. Guess lower. 62. Guess lower. It's got to be 61 now. And we, we got it there. So we've successfully created this guessing game in C that allows the user to guess the number between 1 and 100, and it gives them some guidance as to what they should be guessing next if they didn't get it correct. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.